Okay, we've got a lot of news coming in for you. It's a jam-packed hour. Joining us now, former acting DHS Secretary Chad Wolf and House Border Security Caucus Co-Chair Texas Congressman Brian Babin. First to you, Congressman. Reports that Border Patrol will be forced to shut down Texas sector checkpoints meant for drug and human traffickers. We're hearing this may happen tonight, maybe at midnight. They need the border, these border guys and gals to process the immigrants now swamping uh, the, Del, the Del Rio sector. Is, what are you hearing now? What's happening now? It's out of control. Quite frankly, Liz, and good to be with you, uh, we've lost our southern border in the Del Rio sector. Uh, you know, uh, Border Patrol had asked for help from the state authorities, and they sent DPS and our, and our National Guard in uh, to close six ch uh, points of entry. And then six hours later, they called it back. Well, now uh, we've got a situation that is completely out of control. You can see the, some of the pictures that, uh, that have been taken over the last uh, 24 to 36 hours. It is incredible. It is incredible what is happening down there because of this Biden policy and because of activist judges and because of their absolute lunacy of wanting to open our borders up all for political purposes. And uh, they, they seem to be at the administration putting everyone's, if you're an American citizen, putting your life at risk. Uh, we've had another record month uh, with almost 209,000 people coming across this border. And uh, there have been some, some help from, uh, from judges, but there's been other judges that have gone against uh, what I would call common sense policies of trying to, uh, to control our border. We're gonna lose our country uh, if we don't have sovereign and secure borders. To what the congressman is saying, Chad, I mean, I don't think anybody in Washington could uh, thought it would come to this. This is a portrait in miniature, actually it's in maximum, of the Biden collapse at the border, of his policies. Now, border agents are completely overwhelmed. They need serious help right now, but Border Patrol agents have continu continu continuously told us for four to five years that the government, had, not under Trump, but now, that they need more resources, but now they feel abandoned, that, they, that they're not getting the help they need. And the governor of Texas is saying the White House is botching it as badly as it did Afghanistan when it abandoned Americans behind terror lines. What do you say to this? Well, you're absolutely right. This is the result of not having a coherent strategy along that border, and the congressman's right. They continue to not put in place policies that will address the border crisis that they created. There is a playbook. There are policies that you can put in place today that will curb the thousands and hundreds of thousands of illegal migrants coming across that border. They refuse to do that. Instead, they continue to process them. They continue this, this forward strategy of a failed border policy. Uh, and it's got to stop. Otherwise, you're going to continue to see American communities not only along that border, but inside the interior of the country to continue to suffer, not only from the illegal migrants, but the illegal narcotics uh, and, and the like. And so it's really devastating. Yeah. The administration needs to change course. I got to move on this. Congressman, I'm getting information coming to me from Border Patrol happening right now to what Chad Wolf was saying, and you've been pointing this out. They're extremely worried about leaving those checkpoints. They don't want to do that. You need the checkpoints to stop drug and human traffickers. And these are the good, this is the gang that's trying to protect the border towns. We are also hearing from hospitals at the border that they can't handle, the, listen, they're humanitarian, but they're saying we need help. We can't handle this influx right now. So what, what, what can be done to help out at the border right now from the White House? Well, if the White House had any sense, and I'm not sure they do, because uh, we're seeing incompetence uh, at a level that I never would have dreamed that we would see out of an administration. I mean, it's one crisis after the other. Uh, and uh, what they need to do is to it elicit, uh, solicit help from the state of Texas. Uh, they've got to bring people in there to help them. And uh, sec former Secretary uh, Chad Wolf is exactly right. Uh, they have policies that they could be following, uh, uh, and that were proven to work when when he was uh, when he was serving as DHS uh, secretary. And uh, they've simply shut those at the uh, at the Biden administration. And uh, we, we're seeing the results of it: overwhelming numbers. And these are not just folks from Central America and Mexico. They're from Haiti. They're from Africa. They're from all over. Yeah. There's 10,000 people milling around down there, going back and forth. 
And this commander in chief we have, I don't think we can afford to keep this guy in there anymore. He's given us an economic crisis, a energy crisis, a national security crisis, Afghanistan, and now we're right back here at the border. It's worse than it has been in the last nine months, and it's been bad the whole time. Yeah, to the congressman's point, Chad, you know, we yeah. often hear from people, give us your tired and your poor. People understand that part of it. They get it. What they don't understand is what local border authorities, towns, judges, what they have to deal with uh, with this influx, what schools have to deal with. Listen, we're a humanitarian country. But when you see this, when you see the unlawfulness, when you see the border breakdown and the abuse of U.S. borders that Europe wouldn't put up with, Soviet, excuse me, Russia wouldn't put up with, African countries wouldn't put up with it. Countries in Asia wouldn't put up with it. The U.S. border is abused like no other country in the world, and that's a fact. And now we have a federal judge, Emmett Sullivan, blocking the Biden administration from using Title 42, that's a Trump-era public health order, to expel migrant families as a health crisis. We're seeing an explosion of diseases at the border as well. Listen, we want to help people, but this is an issue where we have yeah. veterans, our own poor people on, living on the streets. We've got poverty in our cities. So th this idea that there's this vanity and this egoism going on in D.C. when they're not at the border helping, that's an issue. Absolutely. Well, absolutely. Well, and let's just be clear, the Biden administration really hasn't been using Title 42 for families, only been returning about 20 percent of families under Title 42 over the last several months. So this judge's order, while it is, it is harmful, uh, the Biden administration could have been doing a lot more. Look, they need to reinstitute migrant protection protocols. The asylum cooperative agreements, they need to get serious with Mexico. Mexican authorities can stop a lot of this if they choose to do their job. They deploy resources right. to the border. But you've got to have hard diplomacy and strong diplomacy, and I don't see that happening from this administration. And you know who wouldn't put up with it either? Canada. Okay, Chad Wolf, Congressman Brian Babin, it's good to see hey, you. Can Thank I say you. one thing? Yeah, one more. Quick. Go ahead. Go ahead. Now, one more thing real quick. I would remind everyone out there that this judge, Emmett Sullivan, is the same activist judge uh, that uh, refused to drop the case against uh, uh, General Flynn after the Department of Justice had dropped the case. He refused for months and months. This is the same guy. Activist judges uh, uh, simply do not pay attention to the yeah. U.S. Constitution. And this is what we're going to, we're going to reap the rewards of that, and it's going to be bad. And we, when, you know, do we really want judges setting our border policies that affect our neighborhoods and states and towns? Okay, at the border. Good to see you both. Thanks for joining us.